Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another NBA Supercard video on the channel and today we have the monthly blog post from NBA Supercard we're going to be going over today. Really excited, there's a bunch of news that was revealed um, going along with dusting, Lunar New Year's, a bunch of different stuff as well as we'll be talking about my progress in Road Trip as well as the other game I was in game. Um, but yeah, before we get into the rest of the video guys, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it now. Starting off, we'll talk a little bit about Road Trip. Um, I'd say it's been on going alright. I haven't really played too much today. I'll probably try and grind a ton out tonight just because obviously school and stuff. So, you know, really didn't get a chance to play earlier today but I'll try and get a bunch done tonight and hopefully I can make my way into the top 1250 tonight and I can maintain that I really want to try and get a high one we'll see if that's possible or not but there's that uh, I am in a team battleground I got my attacks done and uh, we're just waiting for that to end get our guys get our last attacks in and then we'll be good um right now i haven't really done much of pvp since yesterday been grinding um road trip all day not all day but whenever i get the chance i would just play road trip um currently in a pvp or not a pvp what am i saying another champions which we've been doing all right in and uh you know it's you know it's going all right um i do need to charge and get my stuff up um so might as well just do that on camera while we talk um but yeah, overall, the game is, it's its really quality right now. I really like the New Year's pulls. You're pulling them quite often. I'm still a little bit confused on the restrictions. I'm getting a very, very mixed mixed reactions and opinions from people and things that they're saying are true. Um, shout outs to the people who commented on the last video trying to explain it. Like, there was one guy who commented that you get four off the board and then you don't get them off the board anymore well you get them off the board but they count as resets um like to your entire like they you they substitute in for a pull um off the draft board well before they were just a basic reset so you know i don't i don't know exactly which one's the truth because i've heard people say it's just four i've heard people say it's unlimited i've heard people say you get four off the board and then it becomes you have a chance at it in your pull you can still pull it from champions quest team battleground um, platinum packs wherever you want to pull them from so I really don't know what's going on and they haven't clarified anything yet which is kind of annoying I mean like I wish they would do that but you know they just put out a blog post didn't say anything about it so I don't think they're ever gonna say anything about it so we're just gonna have to live with it it looks like so that's fine um, but we I need to get that level of player done so we'll do that real quick and uh, we did get our fourth downtown uh, New Year card and uh, it was Sammy Whitcomb. No, 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 that's not, that's not a New Year card. I guess I already trained him up. I don't remember doing that, but I guess I did. Anthony Davis, that was who it was. So no pro AI, it looks like. Um, maybe we still have a chance. I don't know what these cards are going to be like pulling off the board. I have no clue. Um, but AI, LeBron, LeBron, and Davis have been four of our pulls so far. We also did get like Maya Moore, Emerald, which was a new star. Or, well, the pro was a new star because I already had her. Uh, Drew Holiday, we've pulled out of free packs twice. That's a new star. And uh, anything else? I think we pulled on Elena Del Don, but I already had her prode, so didn't really make a difference there. It's basically that. That's pretty much it. We'll get those pros done whenever I get the chance. Probably we'll work on some of it tonight. We'll see how busy I am with road trip and how much time that takes up. Um, but yeah, in the store, we also have E-Draft, which I haven't done yet. So I'll show you guys what I do here. Basically, I randomly pick one of these cards. I hope it's a new one and then I claim an exit and that is literally it who do we get Elena Del Don that's an is I don't I think that's a pro not a new one so stars the star man that's all I can say uh, make sure you're claiming your free packs get your blocks get your reveals they're super clutch especially if you're trying to play free to play on road trips so just make sure you're doing all that stuff just to stay up to date as we get a John Wall right there and open your free packs for new stars as well because John Wall I don't even know if I had that card, did I? Uh, combinables, I might have. It looks like I did. Um, ooh, I also got Dion Waiters. And I got Elena Del Don. No, I didn't have that John Wall card already. So that's kind of clutch. Uh, we'll probably land a Del Don as well. And get two more stars. Two more stars, just like that. That's, you know, that's clutch. Just from e draft and randomly pulling cards off the board. So, you'd love to see that there. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, do we level a player? Oh, we gotta do that real quick so we can get that champions thing done. 
Um, I do need to level Sammy Whitcomb still. That was really clutch pull in yesterday's video. Um, we'll throw in, we'll just throw in Dion. And we'll see how far they get to level 10. Cool. Um, let's go and get charging done in champions. We'll throw it on you and you. And then we got two left. Um, can I get stamina? No, it's not going to give you stamina. I'll just go. Oh, we can't go that. You need green. Um, we'll go 50% offense for curry. And then I don't think we're going to get another times one. So, nope. All right. Whatever, you know is what it is uh but let's go ahead and go check out that blog post real quick all right so looking right here as you can see they put out a twitter post happy friday our latest blog is live with a preview on some of the updates like dusting debuting in january so let's go ahead and get into this i'm super excited to see what we got here a new month a new year a new update and a bunch of new cards not only are the festive and powerful not only are they festive and powerful they serve as a reminder that it's january already how did that happen um yeah it's been crazy it's already january uh, we're kicking off 2022 with a bunch of new stuff, including New Year's themed cards. Not only are they festive, blah, blah, blah. How did that happen? Mysterious all. Uh, these cards sport a dynamic new look that pops and foreshadows a great year of Supercard content to come. As you're reading this, New Year's cards have been released. Obviously, we know about all this. On the draft board, anyone perimeter tier or below has a shot at Vortex New Year's cards on any card level. Um, Vortex or, or higher has a shot at cards of their own tier. This sounds on January 17th. And it doesn't say if there's any specific things so there's that no specific limit on the amount uh but dusting we've heard the feedback so we did the thing and we'll release dusting on january 26th oh man am i excited for that dusting is going to be incredible i'm gonna have some obviously premier draft board resets for you guys it's gonna be great if you're unfamiliar this is a feature that allows you to convert unwanted cards into dust and gradually fill a meter that we have dubbed the dust meter when you fill the meter you'll be taken to a new draft board that features tier picks two down from your top eight and other goodies dusting empowers you to make the most out of your time in supercard and hit your goals we hope you enjoy and thanks so basically this already exists in wwe supercard and after like let's say you complete a game of pvp you take your picks and you're on the screen where you have to press done at the bottom of the screen and you're like scrolling through all the cards you pulled you can go ahead and click on the it's like a little thing in like the bottom of the card you got and it'll dust it and you can confirm it and each card has a certain dust value like i said once you fill up the bar you get sent to a draft board it is the special draft board and i guess here it says um it will have everything um from two tiers blowing up and resets on that board are your tier pull so that's how it's going to be super excited for that it's a four by four board i believe i believe there's 16 cards so there's that uh, we got Superstore Rollover. Our Superstore also rolled over on January 4th with the addition of our new duo cards. Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden not to be outshined, but the next day, a special event card made its magical debut in Road Trip, obviously magic and all that kind of stuff uh downtown fusions on january 4th we released new year's themed cards the following week starting january 11th downtown fusion cards become available via the front office and our updated fusion feeder packs these fusions shouldn't require as many pro fishing cards but should still should require some work and planning so on the 11th we will be getting fusions that's really nice and that is next tuesday so there is that um but wait we got one more thing uh, on January 18th, we premiere our Lunar New Year themed cards. This is a great set that backs a powerful punch with a dragon-esque aesthetic. Uh, the, new, the Lunar New Year themed cards also premiere in Vortex Spark and Downtown Tears, and all players will have a shot at these cards starting January 18th. Use special water ingredients to make tiger ingredients, and then head to the front office for your shot at Lunar New Year themed cards and a special moon collectible. Oh, and this will be a great week to follow us on social media. We have a couple of surprises and more to come. So it looks like it's going to be a fusion based event, um, but they're talking about some weird collectibles. So it'll be something new. It looks like, which is really nice um, as well as it looks like they're going to be doing some QR codes, maybe just singular QR code, but really excited about what's to come in the month. We got a ton of content dusting front office fusions, lunar new year cards, a ton coming to the game. I cannot wait. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on. But yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.